Hi, this is Mr. Binkley. The tutorial you're about to see is on how to complete your data table for creating a circle graph. Before you can make a circle graph, there's some data that we'll need figuring out first, and I'll be showing you how to do that here. So before you build a circle graph, you have to look at the data involved to figure out how big each angle needs to be and exactly how many degrees they need to be. So I did a survey with some students on if they would adopt school uniforms in class, and you can see the votes that were received in each category, which then I took and made fractions to convert into percentages. And the next thing I need to do is I need to convert each of these percentages into degrees for the actual circle. Um, so because a circle is exactly 360 degrees, I need to take every single percentage or fraction and multiply them by 360 since there's 360 degrees in a circle. It's not like percentages which are out of 100. Circles are out of 360 degrees. So if I take 16 percent or 4 25ths times 360, my first uh, angle measure for the amount of yes votes is going to come out to 57.6 degrees which I'm going to round these to the nearest whole number. With the size of our protractors, it doesn't really benefit me to keep a decimal here. So um, I wouldn't be able to find it. So that's why I'm just going to round it to the nearest whole number. When I do the next one, 64% of a circle, uh, 360 degrees, comes out to 230.4, which when rounded is 230. 20% of a circle, 20% of 360 comes out to exactly 72 degrees, no rounding necessary. And when I add those up, I get 360 exactly, which tells me that everything was done accurately. And if, if I would be off by a degree or two, that would be understandable, knowing that we did round some of our numbers. In summary, you can see that the data is very important to complete accurately before you begin creating a circle graph. Once your data is complete, now you can pick up a protractor and start to measure the angles for your graph. Thanks for listening to this podcast with me, Mr. Binkley. What we're going to be doing today is creating a circle graph, also known as a pie chart. Just like bar graphs and line graphs, pie charts are a great visual aid to be used when displaying data. Pie charts are often very popular with displaying data because most people can relate to a circular object, like that of a pie, being cut into bigger and smaller portions. It's a nice, quick way to get a gauge on what the particular data represents. Hello, this is Mr. Binkley, and today you're going to learn all about how to make a circle graph. I'm trying to make you as well-rounded as possible. Be sure to hang around for this one. Circle graphs, also known as pie charts, are great for displaying information. Before you can begin making any old circle graph, you'll need to crunch some numbers first. After that, it will be all about cutting some slices of pie. After you add in a few labels and a title, you'll have a graph that looks so good people will want to bite. Other than a pencil and a calculator, you'll also need a protractor for creating those perfect slices and a math compass for making some awesome circles. What do you say we get started? When you create your circle using a compass, be sure to mark the center of the circle. This step is very important because all of your angles will be created using the center point. In conclusion, we now know a lot more about what's expected of us when creating a circle graph. First, you crunch some data to figure out your angle sizes. Next, you use a compass to build a circle, keeping the center of the circle marked. And last, we use the protractor to create our angles. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Now all we need to do is practice. See you around.